Hey everybody, I'm just here to show you some new software that I've recently come up with. So common problem we have at my church is we need to get a hold of certain tech positions, production positions, or people around the room because we're all kind of spread out. So we have some of these beacons here, or they call them call signal flashers. Uh, they integrate with our ClearCom system. Uh, the problem we have is that, well, for one, they're expensive. And two, when I press a call light, it's going to light up every call signal flasher that's connected to that party line. And so we only have a four channel party line system. So I could really only have four discrete call signal flashers. So right now we have these at our front of house position. And everybody just kind of knows if that lights up, we're trying to get a hold of the audio guys. So everybody else ignores it. So for one, it's expensive to add more of them. And two, it's not discreet. So we can't really signal a unique position on the team. Uh, so I've come up with some software to hopefully help eliminate that problem. So I've called this new software Beacon. Uh, and it's going to control a USB busy light. Uh, right now it supports the Luxafor flag, which is this little guy, little magnetic can mount to screen or really wherever you want to put it. Uh, or it integrates with the original uh, Blink-1 USB light. And so uh, you could put that on, you know, a USB extension cord or whatever and just kind of mount it in any uh, place that you need it. So any position that uh, needs to get notified. So uh, the way this works is you'll have the Beacon app. And so I've got the code here up on GitHub. I've already installed the app uh, and it's running here on my computer up here in the tray. And so uh, what this does is it has an API. It's listening on a port and you can send it commands over the network and it will uh, flash your attached USB beacon light to allow you to alert that operator, hey, I need your attention. And so uh, you can see right now, I don't actually have any connected, uh, but it does support an on-screen beacon. Uh, but let me connect a couple lights and let's show you how this works. Okay, so I have connected one Blink-1 light via USB and one Luxafor flag. You can connect uh, as many of those as you like. The software will support as many that you have connected. So I'm going to come up here and I can see now that it's detected two of them. Uh, if it wasn't detected, you could say rescan for USB devices and it will scan them uh, and then show you that there are two connected. Uh, some of the other options here is to say allow beacon remote control, which means let's say I'm an operator and I don't need my beacon to light up right now. I want to not be distracted. I can just turn that off. Uh, uh, simultaneously, I could, I could also disable the on-screen beacon. So if you don't have any physical hardware beacons, you can use the on-screen one, which just shows a little circle over here in the corner. Uh, show notifications and play sounds. This also supports uh, popping in a notification uh, to the user with a custom message, and you can also play sounds. So I'm going to show you a bit how this works. So for starters, you'll want to download it off of GitHub. You'll see a release published for that. And then it has a partner module designed to work with BitFocus Companion. So that's primarily the way that you should interact with this. But there is a full API for it as well if you want to do a third party integration. So I've set up the connection here. And since I'm running Companion on the same computer that Beacon is on, I'm just going to use my local loopback address. And it uses port 8802. Those are the defaults. And I'll hit save. So I'm going to come over here to buttons and look at variables you can see. Uh, that the control status is set to true. If I were to come up here and say it not to allow, that would change to false. And it tells you, hey, control has been disabled via beacon. Uh, and then we just always know the version of beacon that you're running. But I'm going to go back in and enable that. So let's set up a button here. First, I'm going to say create button. And let's just say flash red. Uh, you could you know, make this button pretty however you want. You could say alert alert me. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to browse beacon and I've got flash beacon to color. I'm going to add that. 
Uh, you can, by default, flash every beacon or device that's connected, or you can specifically pick the one that you want to flash. So in this case, I'm going to say all devices, and I want to do red. I've got a speed amount between 0 and 255. The smaller the number, the faster the speed, and then how many times I want it to repeat. I could play a notification if I want with a custom title and body uh, if I want to alert the user up in the notification area. Or I could even play a sound that supports tones. Uh, so right now I've got a single tone, triple tone, and then uh, these are just for fun, a couple recordings of me saying, hey, uh, you know, so if you want to alert your operator, hey, 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 hey. Or if you want to alert them loudly, those are just some fun options. Uh, so I'm going to leave that there, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this looks like if I were to run that. You can see my Blink One light is attached here, just you know, gloriously sitting on my keyboard. Uh, and then I've got it, uh, my on-screen beacon set up as well. I'm just going to say test, and it's going to start flashing there. You can even see it lighting up on my on-screen beacon. Um, I'm going to run that again. You can see it here on my Luxa 4 flag. There's my flag lighting up on my on-screen beacon. Got my little guy down here. You can hear the tone that it's playing. Here's a couple of the other tones. Like here's the triple tone. Here's one like if you want to say hello. So that's just an example of how maybe uh, that would work. Um, oh, and if I want the sound to repeat, I need to put the custom repeat in there. So I've got a custom repeat for sound as well as the um, lighting. So, you know, you can do that kind of however you need to alert your user. Um, so that's the flash beacon to color. A couple other options here uh, to use. You've got fade, which is just kind of a nice, um, you know, just a nice fade. You can also only play a sound or only set a notification, or you could just set um, the beacon to a solid color. So if I just want them to stay, uh, just to stay red, I can hit that. And then you'll see all devices will just stay red until I tell it to go away. Uh, and so to tell it to go away, I'm going to need to add the turn off beacon command uh, and just say, hey, I want to turn off all of them. But you can actually uh, set this up to do, you know, different devices could be doing different things. So you could have one when it does a certain action, it means a different thing. So it's really just a matter of how you want to run this with your team um, and notify them. But it's a lot more flexible and customizable than perhaps using some of the more expensive options that are out there. So I hope you'll check this software out. Again, it's called Beacon. You can get it. Uh, free. It's open source off of my GitHub, which is github.com slash Joseph D. Adams slash beacon. So check that out and uh, let me know what you think.